Hi, everybody. It's uh, Sarah and Kristen here from softflexcompany.com for one of our favorite videos that we do every once in a great while called Coffee and Craft Wire. How are you today, Kristen? Hey, everyone. Um, I'm doing okay. We're doing a little puppy potty training. And so mm -hmm. yesterday was not a great day for me. <laughs> Today has been much better. Um, she's really good with Bert. She's actually very trained. I'm just not very observant. Mm. <laughs> I'm not as good as being observant of like, oh, she's showing me the signs she's got to go. Because it's it's very regular, like every hour. <laughs> so this is actually live i see someone's asking is this really live it is actually live uh <laughs> happening right this minute um yeah we have a one-year-old dog and we've had her for about two months and it's been raining a lot here in california that makes so it hard every once in a while we can't get her on a walk and on those days it's really tricky and we actually had like kind of a scary episode yesterday where she had that excited energy and Evelyn got really scared because Evelyn's been bitten by a dog before and she got really scared. And then Shadow was like, well, why are you scared? And then that made her even more intense, you know? Right. So she ended up scratching her a little bit and it was during my live video. So I heard you. Was, I did see that you had a <laughs> snuffle. I was wondering what that was. So I thankfully was, um, you know, muted, but I it was going on right outside this door. So I had to skedaddle out there and um, help clear it up. But I think I'm going to get a trainer to come in to help the kids to understand dog thinking. Language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like more ex happy excitement versus, you know, maybe being scared or on a defense, you know, like those kind of things. Right. And how their energy is read by the dog, you know, yeah. that they don't understand what she's saying, but they do understand an energy. And then that energy can propel them into all sorts of things that we don't need or want. So yeah. <sighs> puppies. Very. Puppies. Oh, it's National Puppy Day today, Marianne said. Well, that makes <laughs> sense that we are chatting about it. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, Funny. Oh. Our little puppy is five months old, so she's still very puppy, but she's gotten, you know, like I said, Bert's really good and she goes for him. Like he, there's never been an accident when he's around, but yesterday we had a rainy morning. And so mm -hmm. we had a few accidents in the morning and I kind of chalked it up to the rain. And then as the day went on, it didn't get any better. <laughs> oh until God. he came, until he came home. And I was at that point, I was kind of like, I'm over it. You need to mop the floors. <laughs> yeah. I I need a break. Um, yeah. It's a lot to keep track of. So today I put an alarm on my phone, which has been a lot more helpful. Oh, good. So this way I, I check in with her more frequently and it's not. Um, well, and as know. this person's saying, it's the human that needs the training, right? Yes. It's my kids or you that actually need the training more than the dog. You know, the dog is just waiting for us to do the right thing most of the time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is what it is. We'll so all we've get had a good day. So far, no accidents. I don't know what will happen while I'm on video, but <laughs> so far, so good. Well, if you need to step away for a dog potty break, you just let us know. <laughs> Hopefully she didn't drink any coffee, so she doesn't right. have to go right away. I did take her food and her water up um, a little earlier today because I think that's part of the issue too. She was just drinking and chowing down all day yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I think I have to regulate her a little more. I'm not used to it. My older dogs were very regulated. The food could sit there all day. Um, uh -huh. So yeah. Yay. I've had, I've, had different, I've had dogs that can free range and I've had dogs that just can't, you know, yeah. so you get used to those little things too over time. Yay, Jessica. I'm so happy to hear that you bought a cherry blossom kit. In fact, I was going to do a giveaway. I wonder if I can still set it up. Oh, that'll be fun. And while you're setting that up, I'll let everyone know. We put a post on the TGBE 
um, group about 1130, so about a half hour ago before we went live. And we're just asking your favorite ways to use CraftWire. And if you comment, you'll be entered to possibly win a store credit. We're going to choose one winner um, yeah. tomorrow. So $20 store credit. So just go and find that post anytime today and leave your comment of your favorite ways to use SoftLex CraftWire. I love that. I can't wait to read all of those. That's always so fun. Oops, let me get the right one in here. What should our hashtag be today? Maybe TGB. spotlight. Oh yeah, TG or TGB is good too. All right, we're collecting comments for you to win. So you're gonna comment hashtag TGBE. I will make a banner to make it easier for you to remember. And then, oops, not that one though. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I'm super busy and have to actually do it while I'm live. While um, you're live. Sh Sherry says that cherry blossom set is gorgeous. Yay. And we awesome. have our brand new spring fling kit is available now. And that's what I'll give away today. So Ooh, uh, that's a good we, one. We have a beautiful spring fling spring bouquet design. It's kit. actually spring blossoms. Okay. Spring blossoms. <laughs> Whatever. Same thing. <laughs> okay, Sarah's been so busy. She doesn't know what's we have what's up, what's down. <laughs> I don't. I am like a chicken with its head cut off. I'm just running from one thing to the next lately. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so Spring Fling is coming in the Great Beat Extravaganza. That's part of why we're live today is to talk a little bit about that. Uh, it is coming up here in April. Do we have the dates listed somewhere, Kristen? Hmm. It's no, April a, um, 21st is the preview. And then the 22nd and 23rd is the show. I don't know awesome. if the graphic is up here. Yeah, I think it is. So I I, we're, we're hoping you're going to join us. It's going to be 12 hours of free beading presentations from some really fantastic uh, companies. And we will have a brand new special guest joining us. I don't think it's been announced yet. So I'm going to hold off on saying who it is as much as I hate keeping a secret. Um, <laughs> it's not my you know, it hasn't been announced post. yet. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll be announcing it in the coming weeks, um, but it's going to be a ton of fun. And just to touch base, because I know some members have left since the last time we did a uh, midwinter market, there will be members or presenters coming and going in the Great Beat Extravaganza. It is a collective group. Everybody has a choice to be there as long as they want or or to you know choose to do other things. I think Andrew put it best. When you make one choice, you're choosing to not do something else. And yeah. so be really thoughtful of all the presenters that are putting their time into the Great Beat Extravaganza because it is a lot of time and energy um, in behind the scenes to make everything keep going. And, um, and we've definitely had a few that have dropped off over the years, but hopefully as we continue to add guest presenters, we may add some uh, group members more long-term in the future as well. We're just kind of winging it, you know? We, I don't think there is anything like us in the beating industry um, where you've got a group of presenters and small businesses working together in the way that we are. And so collaboratively, too, where we all have a voice in every decision and um, and have to have to all collaborative collaboratively make everything happen. Yeah, uh, it's a really unique group. And uh, we hope that you really enjoy the presentations that we have planned for you for Spring Fling. Um, we're still going to have some really fabulous presenters like Candy Cooper and Kate Richberg and Kelly Sutton and Neelay Patel and, you know, all of your all of your friends. And then that special guest will fill in one of the gaps for us to have 12 full hours of beating for a whole weekend um, and you know what is really crazy is Kristen and I are going to be at a conference 
that same week. I know I alluded to that on one of my videos recently, but I didn't really say too much more. But I said, Sarah and I will actually be together in person mm -hmm. versus together virtually. And we'll be presenting um, that way to you guys all in April because we're going to be together at a conference. So, so you're going to have to be really patient with us because we've never done a video uh, for TGBE together in the same <laughs> And not only will we be in the same place, but we will be in probably a hotel mm -hmm. room. And so we don't know what our connection will be like. We don't know what the space is going to be like. So you're just going to have to be real patient with us. And if we feel like there's going to be a problem, we'll probably pre-record, but we're hoping to go live. We, we made sure we didn't schedule anything in that block of time so that we could get back to the hotel and set up and get going. Um, but it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> yes, it will be different for sure. And it'll be fun. It'll be nice to have us in the same space. And it'll be um, neat to, you know, share with you guys where we are and what we're doing too. So um, maybe we'll have a little I don't know. We don't have a ton of time during the presentations, but we can have a quick, a quick little synopsis of what's going on. Um, lots of giggling. Lots of <laughs> giggling. That's what I said. I said the giggling will be off the charts because we'll be in person giggling mm -hmm. <laughs> so, for days, for days, days. And, days <laughs> and days. Yeah, I maybe just... we'll get on and be like, uh, "We're in two separate hotel rooms recording this now, guys." <laughs> I doubt it. No, we won't. It. I'm just kidding. But I've got my iced coffee here. How about you, Sarah? We were discussing right before we went on how know. our, our morning coffee has got sad. cold. Yeah, my coffee is from about 7 a.m. this morning, and it's very cold. Uh, Kristen was much smarter. What did you do, Kristen? Well, about a half hour before we went on, I looked at my coffee and I was like, oh, there's a lot left and it's cold too. So I'm just going to put it over ice and I added a little more coffee and I added a little more creamer. And now I've got myself a fresh little iced coffee nice. and check out this adorable cup I got myself with this gnome <laughs> and the mushrooms. <laughs> so cute. Mushrooms. Oh. I, Melody says, yuck to cold coffee. Oh my gosh. I actually drank more iced coffee before I became more of a hot coffee person. I was iced coffee first and then mm -hmm. hot coffee second. Um, I do like iced coffee too. And I especially feel like a hot coffee like hits me differently. Like I get a little bit different of a feeling. Although mm -hmm. I'm drinking mushroom coffee in my mushroom <laughs> cup. <laughs> Well, I just asked you a question. I think you missed it. Why don't you paint mushrooms? Um, I just haven't yet. I don't know. I feel like you could do a whole <laughs> year on just mushrooms. Honestly. I do have a little mushroom pendant that I painted Aww, from look at that. Green Girl Studios. So cute. Isn't it cute? I haven't I'm used drinking, it in a design. Um, my cold coffee is in my world mug. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys that before. I have Ooh. this mug I received from a good friend in high school. I've had it that long. And it's the biggest mug I have. So it's I traveled all it. over with you then. It's gone everywhere. It's It lived in Montana with me. It lived in Arizona. Now it lives in California. I don't even talk to that friend anymore. But it is a cup that I've kept, um, kept for years and years. It's kind of crazy. That's so, cool. That's wishing nice. them good, a good life right now, wherever they are. <laughs> yeah. You think about them with your coffee. Yeah, <laughs> Little do they while. know. <laughs> totally. Yeah. They're, they've been traveling with me. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff on our table today because it's coffee and craft wire. We don't know what we're going to make because we've been too busy to make do a lot of planning. But I know I have all these fantastic new parts from Tierra Cast. That I haven't gotten to play with yet. Um, we put in these in last week and I wasn't able to be on the live video last week. So I've got some five to one connectors in two styles. I've got some adorable little bunnies that are exclusive to. Oh, I don't have those yet. They're, they're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. 
So I've got those. And then I've got all of the keep the faith parts that we have in the shop here on the side. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing something with those today. What are your thoughts, Kristen? What do you have going on on your bead table? Oh, I was just like, what do I want to, I just kind of grabbed some things that I've worked on recently with Craftwire mm -hmm. just to be, um, kind of get the inspiration going. Let's look closer at what you got there. Sure. I'm going to open this up here. So Softflex um, makes craft wire as well as beading wire. It is a copper based wire. Some of it is silver plated. All of it is coated so that it's hypoallergenic and non-tarnishing. And it comes in lots of different colors. It's the kind of metal that you can bend into a shape and it comes in thick gauges all the way to very thin gauges. I think we made um, this one during Coffee and Craft Wire last time, mm. which is it was around Twilight. Maybe not last time, maybe the time before. Or it's probably it's around pretty. Twilight Sky. Isn't this pretty? This is with the mm -hmm. antique copper um, craft wire and just a beaded chain all the way up with some fire polish in between to kind of um, ground all of the different beads. And then one of those gorgeous moon and sun pendant so you can wear it either way um this one is another beaded chain i did that i just adore pretty and this is with one of those green girl Stu uh green girl studios pendants too which in our live sale we have a bunch of magical green girls for you you can shop the live sale through the end of today so make sure you guys check that out over on the Softflex Company Facebook page. And this one is just using the, I mixed metals here. So I've got the bright copper on this one with gold twisted jump rings in between and just played with that. I was in a chain making mode. This one was really fun with the donut using the craft wire. I think this is the... Um, I don't know which color silver this is. It looks like the antique silver um, on the donut there, giving it a little flare. And then I strung it on beading wire going up the back. And this one was super fun because this one was a pendant that had a hole, but it didn't get fully drilled you can see there and so instead i just flipped it to the other side and wrapped the gold craft wire around it and then made this little connector with beads to make this little round connector and then strung it up on softflex beading wire um and then similarly with those circle connectors made these earrings I made something like this during the um, Cozy Mountain Retreat kit. That's what started it. And then I started, then I made these earrings, and then I made the other connector. I just really was having fun making these round um, beaded connectors with the craft wire. And what else? And then simply, I picked these up because we have some really pretty little flower beads right now. And so this is just using a flower bead as a... Um, wire wrapped loop connector to the earring and to the drop so super super simple really pretty and i think i'm gonna look at some of our spring flowers for our project today i just don't know what yet and then lastly i haven't got to play make anything with this yet but i love this epoxy sculpt connector that i made and you just use craft wire for your little um pieces you just stick this in while the epoxy sculpt is still um, workable. And then once it dries, you've got yourself a cool little connector. Um, and of course, rings. We've been making craft wire rings. I've got this one is with a little tiara cast button that we sell at softlexcompany.com. And then this one was with one of the check glass buttons. Those you can only find in our live sales. And so that was from one of the live sales. And then I've got this one, which uses a cool quartz point. So this is really fun if you pick up one of those like single beads or something in our live sale and you want to kind of do something, you know, extra special with it. You can look and check out um, about making a ring. 
Did I color the drop? What drop are we talking about? Hmm. <laughs> I love that donut. I know, isn't that donut cool? It's so pretty. It's such a pretty donut. And you don't see there. There's a little, there's some dark blue in here that doesn't quite get picked up by the camera, but it's fun because it wasn't like, well, the back has some really fun dots on it too, but it just felt like it needed a little, little something extra on there. Oh, the wood piece. Yes, I did. Yeah, we sold these. Um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. We have these wooden pieces that you can paint with the ultimate paint. Um, which I think we're going to get back in stock. I used some of it yesterday too. Uh, we just haven't like figured out what colors and at what point <laughs> we're bringing them back in, I guess we're working it's on that. Just, yeah. Just been <laughs> off my too difficult on my too difficult list. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But if you guys do have them already, they, they last a really long time. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what I used on this little cute little mushroom too. So, um, oh, I did them all kiss, kiss, but elegantly made. <laughs> Oh, thank you for helping, Deborah. Deborah said she helped somebody last night with changing their email with Softflex. Oh, oh thanks, thank Deborah. You for that. We can use all the help we can get these days. <laughs> I know we really can. <laughs> so okay. those are some of my inspiration pieces that I have here to share. And now I got to think about what I'm going to make today. Well, let's flip over here. I'm playing around. I have um, two of these five connectors. I was really uh, inspired yesterday by Rachel, um, who was with me. She was showing me, Rachel Malice was showing me how to make these beautiful, long, uh, dangly earrings and using the wig jig. If you missed that video, it's a great craft wire video. You can check it out on the Softlex YouTube channel. Um, but I was really inspired by it. And so I just broke apart this rainbow melon strand. And I was kind of looking to see if I could just make some little long chains to hang from this uh, these pieces to make some long dangle earrings uh, for myself. And I was kind of thinking about it a little bit um, giving it sort of a rainbow effect. It's not going to be a perfect rainbow, but, um, you know, by intermixing the colors, I can probably get some fun colors in there. And so I was just kind of playing around with it. If you're going to do this and you want to do each strand a different color, I would suggest getting at least two strands. I have just one strand here and that's making it trickier. Um, but I think I can probably kind of come up with something that will work if I keep sort of playing around with it. Here. Oh, Zach is saying KISS is keep it super simple. I like that because I think there's another acronym that's kind of like that. <laughs> that isn't quite as nice. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, I agree. Rachel's design was so pretty yesterday. It was it really was fun. Really Oh, Let's do a blog post about it next week as well. So this is kind of, I think this could work. So I'm going to go with it and just see what happens here. I love yeah. it. I don't have any of those findings much about it. Oh, you don't? You're going to love these. I know. I think they're in my next, my next uh, shipment. I have to go look and see what I put in there. <laughs> there's a matching toggle clasp. Oh, so, so pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then it's got this really gorgeous detailing on the toggle bar even. And it's a pretty nice size clasp. So it's going to work really well for a bracelet or the front of a necklace. If you really want to show it off, you can. Um, but it, you, you can make earrings and then you can do like a nice little matching bracelet uh, pretty easily. I had a couple of show, your tell, uh, show and tell things. I made this with Kay, who is one of the presenters. Oh, at, this uh, is so cool. The great bead extravaganza. She showed me how to make this on a video not too long ago. So you'll find it pretty easily on the Softlex YouTube channel. Um, 
And she is just such a good teacher. It was so much fun. I made it my own. So this isn't exactly what she made, which was fun. Um, she left a lot of uh, interpretation to be had. And I definitely took advantage of that and made my own interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I thought it turned out so cool. I've never done anything like it. And I just did it right on the spot. And it was pretty easy. So it's something that you guys could look at and, oops, and probably do as well. Super and then yesterday, cool. speaking of live sale, I picked up these Swiss Blue Topaz Marquee Cut Beads uh, from Softlux Company at a recent live sale, not the one that's happening right now, but Rosa gave them to me yesterday because I had put them aside for myself. And so when I got home, um, got them home, I was like, oh, wouldn't those look so pretty with those new Reina links uh, that we just got into the shop? And so I just attached them in an Instagram reel or a TikTok video, your choice, and real super easy, made a little dangle, used a jump ring and connected it and then just hung them right from my um, ear wires, but they might be my new favorite pair of earrings. Um, so one thing we do at Softlux is when we have a super nice strand of beads that cost several hundred dollars and we notice that nobody is buying that full strand, Rosa will break them down into two beads or three beads or five beads, um, sometimes more. A short strand is what we call it. And so when I bought these, I got these two beads. Uh, they were regularly $17. I got them for half off. So they were like $9.50 for double A quality Swiss blue topaz beads. Um, but all I wanted was two because I wanted to make a sweet little pair of earrings. So you can see all of our latest short strands in the live sale that is featured at the top of the Softlux Company Facebook page right now. So after video i hope you'll go over there's a part one and a part two and see what's in that sale because quite a few of these little short strands where you can get a little pair of something really special um and make yourself just a sweet little pair of earrings that's affordable but has very high quality gemstones uh, in it okay so i'm thinking i can use the 22 gauge today um my husband had an observation this morning there, this is going to sound strange, but there are two bars of soap in our shower. One of them is almost all gone. And one of them is a brand new bar of soap. And he observed that I have just discarded the one that's almost gone and moved to the brand new big bar of soap. <laughs> I was looking at all my craft wire and beading wire and I was ah. like, am I doing that everywhere? Like if something's just a little used, I just sort of discard it. And you're like, it. all right, we'll move on. Well, if you've got the other one available, maybe right. you just do it. And I right? went to the craft wire bag and I pulled out the full spool. And then I was like, oh, but there's this little half spool. So I'm making myself use the rest of this half spool first. <laughs> I'm totally the other way around. That's so funny. I'm like, I, I can't touch the, new, I can't touch the new spool until this other one is done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm terrible. It's so wasteful. <laughs> it's awful. Anyway, so I'm using the half used spool. I don't know what this says about my personality or what, <laughs> but I'm sure it's not great. <laughs> Well, I think it's partly too, like you, you probably look at that little bit of spool and you think, Ooh, is that enough for the project? Mm, I'm gonna that do? could be. Well, and I want you guys to see the metal color really well, you know, like you can't see it as well when there isn't much on there, but anyway, that's I'm going to do better. That's I will do too. better. Speaking of soap, um, you know, we always, <laughs> everyone has those little bars of soap. You know what I started doing is what? I... I have like a, a hand soap container in my bathroom and I just throw all the little bits of soap when they get really small into uh -huh. it and then you just add water and shake it up. So you're just kind of reconstituting that soap into oh. hand soap. <laughs> Oh, so, so that, that I don't work? have to go out and buy hand soap. I just take all those little bits and keep throwing oh. them in, add water and shake it up. When it gets too thick, I add more water and shake it up. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? <laughs> You're blowing my mind. 
So now you can start thinking maybe you can just reuse that little piece in something else if it's not really for washing anymore. <laughs> your body. Mary's on your page. She did that too growing up. Uh, really? That's funny. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a little piece of 22 gauge wire. I'm gonna grab my little round nose pliers because I'm working with really tiny beads. I like to use a round nose that has a small tip when I'm doing um, this kind of a project versus maybe something like this that's got a little bigger tip. This I would reserve for a bigger bead. Um, but in this case, I want a, a small little circle loop. I don't want them to be really huge or big. So I'm using a more fine-tipped round nose plier. I want to bend the wire toward me. So when I'm working normally, this is what it would look like. I'm going to show you so you can see it. Um, but normally it would be bend the wire towards me, over the top, away from me, adjust my plier to the side and then wrap around back towards me, towards me, away from me, towards me. And that should give me what looks like a really nice little, when I don't twist it, <laughs> a little circle. I can grab that now and attach it. Um, and if I want to open it up a little bit, I can just kind of open it with my chain nose plier to make an opening to slide in my finding. I'm going to work from left to right. So I'm going to grab my finding and attach. This is a double-sided finding, so it doesn't really matter which way we go, which makes it nice and easy. Also is gonna make it really pretty if my hair is up and I've got this, um, got these on, you're gonna, it's gonna look lovely from both ends. Uh, a lot of times I grab it with my chain nose, but because my loop's so small, I decided just to go ahead and grab with my round nose this time make one full revolution around that wire and then come in and trim as up close as you can get without cutting the wires that you want to keep there. Now, if you want, you can take your chain nose plier and kind of tuck in that edge. It's looking pretty good to me, so I'm not so worried. And it's always good to use your nylon jaw plier just to keep your wire nice and straight. Then I'm going to take my first little melon bead. You can find these on the Softflex Company website. They are check glass beads. They come in a rainbow color. So the strand is going to look like this with lots of different colors. And then I just broke it down into the color uh, pattern that I want to do. And then I have a bunch of these beads still left over that I could put into a bracelet with some other beads um, to match the earrings. So I add my bead and then I'm going to make another connection on the other side to add more beads. So I come in with my round nose plier and I'm going to go just above that bead, leaving a little bit because that's where I'm going to wire wrap. So turn the wire towards me over the top to the side underneath. And this time I don't have anything I'm connecting to. I can use my round nose or chain nose can be even easier to use because it's a little more flat on the inside and it's not going to kind of double over and then wrap to the bead, which should be not too much more than what you wrapped on the other side. Pretty even looking. And then you come in and snip as close as you can get and like I said, if you feel like there's a little bit hanging out, get your chain nose plier and just kind of tuck that edge in. And then I was going to do two on this last one. So on the bottom one, I'm going to do a dangle that can hang off of there. So this is going to be a little bit different. You can make this wire sort of like a head pin if you want to or you can wrap it up. So what I'm gonna do is the wrap it up situation. I'll show you what that looks like. So I've got my round nose again. This time I'm not gonna put my bead on first. I'm going to make my dangle. I need um, 
I need to get a new thing for my nylon jaw pliers. You can actually replace these tips and I definitely ready for a replacement. Over the top to the side and around. This time I do want to connect right away to my last connector and then I am going to grab my little chain nose to get in here and do my wrap. I'm so excited to see how these earrings turn out. They and I'm look so super. happy to be beating. Oh, they look <laughs> super pretty. Um, Someone says, I love those little beads. I just ordered more. I feel like the color on these beads is so pretty. I just really They're love really them. Pretty. So I'm going to string my bead on, and then I'm just going to hold my bead and bend my wire up. And I'm going to bring it around that melon and then around the top of it. Helen is, asking, Helene is asking where to find those melon beads. Nice size and love the colors. They are on the Softlex Company website. So softlexcompany.com. You can check them out over there. When and we've look. got them in quite a few different shapes. Yes, I have the other shapes here. And any of the shapes would be cute. I went for the melons today, but there's some other cute shapes here. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of tuck that in again so you can see that little wire met the edge of the swirl. And there we go. That's my first dangle. And then I'm going to keep going and do longer rows in different colors. So it sort of looks like a little bit of a rainbow. I'm going to go from pink to blue, green, and yellow to a purple and sort of a, a dark blue gray color in the center. And then I'm going to work my way back out again and see how they turn out. What do you think, Kristen? I love it. It looks, it looks really amazing. good. Here's the other ones I have. So those are the melons. We also have them in a cube. We have them in um, kind of a double pyramid shape. And then we have this really pretty fire polish, um, just like a long round. Spoiler alert, I'm using the fire polish one. Are you? <laughs> yes. <Fun. laughs> yeah, these are all on the website, as well as the findings um, and lots of other Keep the Faith findings. We also added a lot of flower beads a couple weeks ago that are all still there that I've been dying to play with. I might have to do those with a bunny. Ooh, a that's a cute fun. idea. I think those would, would be super very cute. cute. Um, and then we've got all the faith part. We've got the matching toggles. We've got the um, coins. I think those recently, one of our videos. Oh, yes. Oh, where did I put that? Oh, that's in my bedroom because I'm wearing it all the time. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm like, oh. These have been one of my favorites. I just hooked these on to a pair of ear wires and I wear them all the time too. They're little pea stubs and I love the idea of peace and harmony. Um, so they're like that nice little reminder when I'm wearing them. I can sort of Feel them with my thumb and remember I'm looking for peace and harmony. Right. <laughs> That's possible. Uh, little Buddhas. We've got some um, Stars of David. I think Ramadan is starting this week. Is that a Jewish holiday? I believe it is. I believe so too. I'm sure somebody will help Not us out. Of it, but <laughs> Those flowers are so pretty, Sarah. What size are the cubes? Um, I think feel like Thomas can look on the website and find oh, out. that's a good idea instead of me guessing yeah that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like don't even try to guess uh, this oh. is one of my favorite things this button is super cool um, I'm really excited 
excited about that button and getting to use it. So the, uh, the little links that I used in my earrings, you can find those on the website now. And then I love these too. These are so pretty, double-sided, just gorgeous. So anyway, lots of good stuff to play with. And if you like this design, you could also do it with this five to one link, which we mm. added last week as well. Pretty, pretty. Um, Sherry is saying maybe you can nest the bunny in a wire basket with bead oh eggs. Oh my God, stop <laughs> it. Yes. <laughs> Or at, at the very least, make one of those little wire baskets and hang the bunny from it. And it would be super cute. Really, really cute. Oh, Deborah right. is asking, will you get more of the piece ones? Are we out of the piece ones? I don't think um, so. I think they're we're... there. Look under charms. Maybe Thomas can link to it. Yeah. I don't think we're out of those as far as oh, I know. They said that Ramadan is Muslim. So oh, we did I'm, not have I'm so bad with that stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm inclusive, um, but I don't always understand everybody's um, holidays. Oh, well, thanks, Alexa. <laughs> oh, Tom, Thomas says that Ramadan is Islamic. He had the fortune of being in Abu Dhabi and watching the holiday firsthand. Whoa, wow. that's cool. That's awesome, very cool. Thomas. Oh, okay. my gosh. So cute, Sarah. All right. Do you want to see what I'm up to over here? Yes. All right. So I made a fun little beaded ear wire. And I might add some flowers to the bottom of it. So these are all of our little new flower beads. I use the rainbow strand in the, um, the fire polish rainbow. I think these are three millimeter. And I had opened up the strand yesterday because... I made this epoxy sculpt octopus where I stuffed some of those fire polish in here and then also stuffed some seed beads and stuff in there too. Um, so I already had this one open and ready to go. And look at this. It's so, it just looks like little eggs, doesn't it? Like Easter eggs or just little spring. It's so springy. It's, it's just so springy. It's so, so springy. So I don't know what, um, what I'll put a dangle from the bottom yet. I was thinking that this flower kind of matched really well. Um, <gasps> Ooh. But then you could always do like one of these little flowers too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But let's make the ear wire together and then figure that part out after. <laughs> so I'm using um, the rose gold color. I just recently realized I did not have this in my collection. So I got all of the gauges and I've been playing with this one um, a couple times and it's just so pretty with these spring beads. It's just perfect. Really pretty. So I cut um, 20 gauge for the ear wire. I cut six inches and then 24 gauge for the wrapping and I cut 15 inches. So let's do the ear wire first. And pop that off. And I just used my nylon jaw pliers to straighten it. I did not work hard in it um, before I started wrapping and that would probably be a good idea. But um, for demonstration purposes, I just went for it. What's nice is the beads do give it a little structure on that side. And then I took the nylon jaw pliers and I just was squishing it on the other side. And that will give you a, a soft work hardening a little bit. Then I can always take this later and put it on my, um, whack it down and just, just work harden this side a little bit more. So I think I'll probably, this is probably way too much wire than I needed actually, but that's what I cut the first time. So I just did the same thing again. <laughs> so I went close to the tip on my round nose pliers. I made sure that was flush and then just rolled a nice little, a nice teeny tiny little loop. And then I took my mandrel and I wrapped it around the 15, which is like the last, the biggest size on my mandrel here. Wrapped it all the way around. 
Now you could do this on the wig jig or something as well. Um, I was looking for my jig before we went live and I think it's in another part of my studio. So I wing, winged it with the, with the mandrel. And then I just trimmed that off. Um, I just wanted it to be a little bit longer than where my loop was. And then I came in approximately halfway from at the top. And using my chain nose pliers, just bent the wire so it makes that fish kind of shape. And then I brought it back to, opened it up more like a leaf. Now, if you use the wig jig, you'll do a better job of making sure both of your earrings are exactly the same size. Um, but that's okay. If I make one a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, that means I just have to make another pair. I trimmed it again, and then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and just bump it out like so. And you could even do two at a time so that you're bending them at the same time together instead of one at a time like I'm showing here. And this way you'll more likely have your shape the same. Okay, so here is where you could work hard in it, um, which means using like a nylon hammer and a block or using the whack it down and the work hardening will just um, change the structure of your, of your wire so it's stiffer and not as movable. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I put about, what is that, about three quarters of an, three quarters of an inch or so around just to kind of give myself some space to get started. And I'm gonna wrap it twice. And then I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers to squish those wires together and start to add my beads. And let's see if I can keep up my same pattern. Although having different patterns is cute too. I started with the mustardy yellow color from that rainbow strand and just held it on my frame and then pull the wire through. And I'm gonna wrap it once all the way around and then do it one more time. Twice all the way around. And then I'll move on to my next color, which was this pink. And then hold it in place between your two fingers and when you get that first wrap around, I just like to pull it close towards the bead. One and two. The next is this orangey color. And I didn't quite go in rainbow order because I just picked up like, I let my wire kind of pick up what was next. But you can go in rainbow order if you want to. Purple, there's like a pretty dusty purple on this strand.
I haven't made my own ear wires in a while. And I think that Sarah was talking about it um, on the video yesterday. And I was kind of like, ooh, maybe I'll do that for coffee and craft wire. <laughs> I love your ear wires. Thanks. I was definitely thinking of you when I said it. Did you? Were you? Yeah. I, I think like, Rachel Ooh. will come up with some really fun ideas. I know. I, I need to send her some links. So I was going to send her some links of the ear wires we've already made so she could see. Some ideas. No, just some ideas. Yeah. Yeah. But I bet a light bulb went on over her head when I said it. Yeah. The nice thing about using a jig for something like ear wires is you can really get the, you really benefit from doing it the same exact shape. I think this one is the blue. That's what's next. Or is it the green that's next? Oh, I have the blue already. I need the green. Green. Oh, Kim says she just got the Spring Blossoms kit in the mail today and received her first Softlex craft wire. Ooh, what color and gauge did you get, Kim? Oh, Sandra wants to see me model these. Okay. <laughs> we, can make, we can make that happen. <laughs> so it's, it's all into an out. Oh, we've got a um, a Bluetooth connection. <laughs> I have so much trouble with that on my own videos. I sometimes I'm trying to like connect to a song or music and it's like it comes in at inappropriate times or it doesn't go when I want it to go. I kind of gave up on adding music when I do certain live Zooms. <laughs> Okay, so you know what? I'm going to try and squish this down just a little bit. I just want there to be, there we go, that's better. I want there to be a little bit of space because you're, it's going to go in your ear right around where this bend is. And so didn't want the beads to be so close. And then I'm just going to wrap three times around and trim it off with the flush side towards my frame. And I actually cut off quite a bit still. Let's see what I have left. I have about eight inches left, so didn't quite need as much. But as we were talking about yesterday, when you're working with wire, it is nice to have a little bit more to work with. So you have, um, you're always nice to have a little more and then cut it than to not have enough. And then I'll trim off this end too on the other end and tuck this in. Oh, um, Kristen, I shipped you your Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yay! In the background here. So look awesome. for them in the mail. Angela took them out for me. I will. I definitely will. And now I'm just going to work hard. And since I didn't work hard in this, I'm just going to use my nylon gel pliers and do a little squishing all the way around just to give it a little bit of light work hardening. That'll just help it out a little bit. I also have a file or a fur cup that you can use on the end here to file these down. Uh, the see. bunnies are not too they're dangled. They're itty bitty. They're the cutest, sweetest little bunnies, and they're perfect for a dangle. And in fact, mm. they would look super cute dangled at the end of those earrings. They would. I was just thinking that. Aww. Like little Easter eggs and then the little <laughs> the bottom I love that idea they would be so cute at the bottom of these earrings I might have to make another pair in silver for the bunnies 
and Becky's noting that Softlex Craft Wire is great for ear wires. Her sister has a pretty extreme metal sensitivity and has been able to wear ear wires that she makes for her with the Softlex wire without any irritation. Yay! I had oh, an I aunt love hearing that too, and she would love when I made her jewelry because it didn't bother her skin like a lot of other jewelry did. Yeah, my sister's like that too. And when I go back home, um, she usually asks me to like switch out ear wires for her and make her <laughs> make her ear wires for some of her jewelry so she can so she can wear it again. Kim's mentioning that she's amazed how fast her order came. She lives in Southern California and she gets her order in two to three days after she places it. And it's awesome. That doesn't always happen, but we do our best to try to get it out as quickly as possible. Yeah, we do. They're so quick. I can't believe how quick they are too. Even when we're like, you guys, we know you need a little more time. It's okay. And they're still like, no, we got to get this done. <laughs> But we know you all appreciate it. So that's, you know, they're like, we, we've, it's just what we do. <laughs> I'm going to try and make a little, um, just a little dangle with this. What do I want to do at the bottom? Hmm. I was thinking in my head to make like a little leaf at the bottom, but I don't know if that's going to be. Um, oh, cute. A that little. <laughs> I don't know if I'm being a little uh, biting You've off more than I can before, show. So it's like, should I try <laughs> this brand new thing I've never done before? Or <laughs> yeah, give it a try. If you don't do it this time, it'll just give you practice for figuring it out for next time. That's what I always think. Even when it doesn't work out, it's you're still learning, and everyone else is learning along with you. I'm going to try and do, um, yeah, maybe a similar idea from when I made the top of the ear wire. So go around my mandrel at a smaller part. Look for the half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make that, make that little. You can do it. Make that little leaf part. <laughs> I just don't know what it'll make it look more like a leaf. Maybe if I pull this down through the center, that'll mm. feel a little leaf-like. Oh, look, it looks so cute. <laughs> I want it to be pointier. How so are you going to do it, it twice now? That's going to be the problem. <laughs> yeah, right? That looks pretty cute. <laughs> Let's go. And then we got the top. Let's see if I'm left enough wire to put my bead on, or I might have to move to a smaller bead. <laughs> no. Well, you have the shape now, so now you can make it again. See, this is what happens when you don't cut yourself enough wire. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Then you're like, you know what I can do? Maybe I Especially can. when you're experimenting, you know? Right. That's a tricky one. Ooh, I love my dangle earrings. Let's see, Sarah. Let's see. I'm not done yet. I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm almost there with one of them. I'm seeing if I can make the leaf part a little bit smaller. Um. Are you using the same wire or are you doing a brand new one? I'm using the same wire. I just tried to make my leaf just like a little bit tinier. Oh, we'll dear see. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Kristen will save it. And I'm I like, know, oh, I know. Grab those nylon jaw pliers, straighten out that wire. <laughs> <laughs> this is Let's where see. our personalities diverge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Do I have enough space if I make it a teeny tiny little loop? 
Oh, Rosanna is, she feels the same way. She hates it when she cuts her wire too short. <laughs> Zakaya yes. really wants to see your octopus again. So make okay. sure you show it, show it again. I will. Maria says you're going to have to make a teeny tiny loop. <laughs> I know. That's what I did. I made a teeny tiny loop. <laughs> Julie says she's so stingy with the wire. This happens to her all the time. <laughs> It does. I am stingy. <laughs> okay, get on screen so we can see you. Sherry oh, says that her leaf that she, uh, the leaves are really cool, and she's challenging herself to make a monstera leaf. Oh, Ooh, I just made a very simple leaf. Very simple. Yeah. Still okay, great. let's open up this teeny tiny loop and see. <laughs> I probably have to turn it because I think it has to go this way. So I'll just twist that first. I do do this all the time. You guys know I'm always like, can I get away with only this amount of wire? <laughs> oh my gosh. Cut a new piece, Kristen. No, we can make it we can make it work. You have access to like a lifetime supply of wire. <laughs> you don't have to use that piece still. <laughs> but look, maybe you that's guys what it comes from for me on we, wire is like I just I have just so like, much access to wire. I don't have to worry about it. What do we think? I mean, it's not the best looking leaf ever, but it's a start. It's cute. I, think it's cute. I feel like it needs another little dangle at the bottom or something, but yeah, a little ex something, cute. a little extra. Yeah, lay it down flat so I can see it flat. Okay. Cute. See, your leaf is gonna spin a little bit because yeah. It's... Well, it's gonna face out, which is how yeah. you face. <laughs> <laughs> Marie says, me too. Again, can I get away? Be able it's... to replicate it. I know. Will I be able? Now I need that same tiny little itty bitty piece of wire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you can do it with a longer wire and cut some off. Let's um let's see how, do how it let's see how it looks wire. on. Let's go, let's go full screen here. Okay. See if we can uh if I can bring more light to myself. No, you almost need a, um, one of these circle lights to face at you. Well, it's kind of is facing at me. Oh, I have it a little bit down right now, but if I. Oh, there. Oh, Ooh, I think it looks so good. It looks really good on. Can you see it in the, is it light enough? Should I back yeah. up? No, no, no. It, it looks good right there. Deb okay. says she says it's so cute. Jessica says <laughs> loving it. Sure. Thanks, you guys. Uh, now I got to try and make another little leaf. You've got a beautiful, <laughs> cute. Yeah. Sandra says yes. Yes. Maria says the leaf works. Use something to harden it, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Did I matched match my earrings, earrings to my top. top. <laughs> And my fingernails, because my top has, look at my top has like all of these little <gasps> springy colors. <laughs> I totally did, you guys. I was like, what can I make to wear today? <laughs> you always do that. I know. It's so cute. It's, then you don't have to worry about if you have something to match it. Because and then you can weird. put them on right away and be I like, know. I need this today. And now I'm going to wear it all day. I'm going to switch to your screen and see what you're up to. Oh, okay, I'm doing my very last dangle. So I've got the whole noodle. I've just got one more little dangle to add here. So let's do that. And then we'll be able to see them uh, up close. If you don't like long dangle earrings, uh, but you do like a nice long necklace, this would make an excellent pendant as well. Um, so that's another option. And again, I was using that 22 gauge. I'm using the gold silver plated. So it is a 22 gauge copper wire. It's silver plated with a gold color over it. And then it has a coating that keeps it this beautiful bright gold color um, for a long time. I'm going to just cut off a little piece. Almost used up the rest. 
getting close. By the time I finish this other earring, I bet that little spool will be gone. I'm gonna take my uh, round nose plier, point this wire to me, push it over the top to make half the loop, adjust my plier, and then pull it under toward me. And that makes a really nice little loop. Open it up just ever so slightly so that I can attach onto my last bead here. So you just slip that little link inside of there. And then I'm gonna hold on to that link to wrap around. Come in and trim as close up as I can get. Go ahead and add my bead. And this one is a dangle, not a connector. So I'm gonna take, hold on to my melon and bend the wire around it. And then I'm gonna come around the top. Oop. Make sure I'm, I'm gonna nylon jaw plier this. Got a little bit of a weird bend there that I don't like. So I'm gonna try that again. And this is why these nylon jaw pliers are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna push my bead up next to my thing and then I'm gonna bring this around. And you can do this with pliers, but I tend to just do it with my hands, I don't know. I'm not doing a million of them. If I was doing a million, this might get annoying. Okay, then I get it pretty close, but I kind of leave it spaced away so I can get in there with my cutters and trim, and then I can go in with my chain nose to kind of tighten that down. And this is a chain nose. Looks like a little triangle with a flat surface inside. Tuck that in. That's good as I can. Oh, oh man. That's, there's my life in a nutshell. Oh no. <laughs> it's there. Which, which side was I working on? This side. <laughs> Okay, so I squeezed it in, and I just want to make sure. Why do I keep picking up my round nose thing? Squeeze that in, and then um, make sure any other little nugget there that's sticking out, you want to squeeze in. That way, nothing's going to catch on your hair or your clothing if you're wearing it as a um, pendant. And if you're doing earrings, you're just going to repeat and add your ear wire up here at the top. Um, and they're going to be so cute. I love it. It's beautiful. I know. It's very springy, too. Um, these these little four or five to one connectors are so pretty. And you could do it with this one. It's just going to yes. give you a little bit of a different feel. Let me bring but it's that also up. still five, right? Still five connections. Yeah. No, it's still a five to one as well. But it's the spiral uh, design. So we have other findings in this spiral um, decor that you guys love. And so when I saw them on the website, I felt like a lot of people would really love them too. Even though they're not brand new, I don't see a lot of people carrying this product. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it would nice to be nice to have alternatives. Yeah, you know? they're they're both really pretty. And the I just love these little rainbow beads, you guys. Like they're just such a pretty jewel tone rainbow. Like they're soft, but I don't know. They're just so pretty. I think because they've got sort of like a, a sheen on them mm -hmm. that like softens the colors a little bit. And it's they're just, they're so lovely to add together. Or if you even took them apart and just used like little, little bits of them for different projects. They're really good for spring. They've got like all your spring colors. You yeah. can kind of intermix and play with them. I would get more than one, though. I felt like having one was limiting. Mm. So Good point. Two, two of each. That way, when you have, like, this one color, you've got twice as many beads there. There's, like, five in each color on here, I think, on most of them. Yeah, five in each color. So if you get two or three, then you've got more in that one color. And it just makes life a little easier when you're making something. And then, of course, we've got 
tons of beautiful blooms to go with your spring kits. So we've got our cherry blossom kit right now, which I will be opening, I think, next Wednesday. And it taking is. off our cherry blossom season in our Softlex VIB group, where all of you will be posting your designs using the cherry blossom design kit. And then we've got our spring blossom kit for spring fling, uh, great bead extravaganza also in the shop. And that's what we'll be using for the spring fling event, which kicks off on April 21st, I think is what um, Kristen said earlier. Mm -hmm. so that's good. And that's what Kristen and I both will be using because I'm, um, we'll be together and we'll be traveling. So I think I'm just going to grab my kit. She's going to grab her kit. I'm going to grab my tools. Yes. We're going to make just from the kit. So we're going to be um, both working yeah. from it this time. And yeah. there's a lot, there's a lot in that kit. There's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. to work with. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Oh. There's craft wire, there's beading wire, there's beads, <laughs> there's findings, all sorts of good stuff in there. Um, so. totally. uh, these are totally adorable. I'm, I am digging my design today and I love your design Yay. today too, Sarah. Too. <laughs> I'm going to come up full face here. Okay. Yeah. We were both in the mood to make earrings. I first for sure. I noticed that I've been making a ton of necklaces lately. So um, and I love earrings. So it was nice to kind of come back and make some earrings. I made the second the second one. Wow. Oh, cute. Sarah, we have to see you bigger to be able to see what that oh, looks wow. like. Oh, gosh, that's really pretty. I love it. It would make a great little <laughs> pendant, pendant, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can make two earrings and a matching oh, pendant. So pretty in the light. Yeah, I love it. It's gorgeous. Just the right length for a nice big dangle earring. What? How many beads are on the longest dangle? Four. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four, three, and two. I just did one less each one. Cute. I'm oh, so excited so that I finally got to use the uh, both the the rainbow beads and the chandelier. Um, connection because I've been dying to use those. Yes. I feel the same way about these little square flower beads. I've been like, I almost did a design last week with it. And then I was like, Oh, I have to do something else. It's just not going to work today. So um, yeah, I was happy. I got a chance to play with them because I think there's just such a fun flower shape. Um, yeah. So what else do we have going on today in our spotlight? We've got all about craft wire because that's just fun to be able to focus on craft wire when we do these spotlights. Um, it's on sale, 20% off. You don't need a coupon, just add it to your cart. You'll see the discount in your in your cart when, before you go to get check out. And you can mix and match all the different gauges and colors and shapes. We've got round mostly. And then we have a few in the square and a few in a half round as well. And the 16 gauge, we have a smaller selection of, and so they're kind of separate. So if you want that larger gauge, um, just note that those round 16 gauges are separately um, posted in that category. And just all of the spring stuff, I've got the spring quad in front of me too. I don't think I even had a chance to talk about it yet, but we've got this gorgeous spring Pretty. quad of beading wire. That we just introduced. It? It's got the tanzanite, pink tourmaline, um, spinel, and <laughs> color of the year, which is like our, yeah, Viva Magenta, um, and the dark blue lapis. So really, really pretty Ooh, colors. Annie has a good question. She says, does the bunny fit inside? It fits inside this one, I think. Well, not quite. It's a little bigger than the bunny. This one's even smaller of an opening. You know what I saw fits inside this one, though, when I was first laying stuff out is these little flowers fit inside oh, of the round one. That's cute. Let's take and a look at that. Like, oh, that's kind of an interesting thing that those fit in there so nicely. 
<laughs> yeah, so they do. Probably wire wrap it inside of there and that it's going to look a little bit like a jewel. You know what um, you could do is you could dangle the bunny maybe from the center, the longer one, and then just do like a little um, one little link going up on each side. That would be really cute. That would be cute. And I love that this has sort of like a vine on it. So yeah. it gives you a very spring summer feeling. It's very pretty. So having that little bunny dingle from like a um, jump ring would be even a oh. little chain or something. That's right. We wanted to see the octopus again. Yeah, Zach, I actually, there's a blog post on the Softlex company um, website that went up yesterday with the, um, with the octopus. So it's got the pictures and the replay of the video. And you used the epoxy sculpt for that? I did. I used the epoxy sculpt. So here's the back side. I haven't done anything oh. to the back yet. Um, the back got a little messy mm -hmm. <laughs> because as you're kind of squishing it in, the epoxy sculpt gets a little warm and then, um, mm -hmm. you know, it got a little messy. So I'm probably just going to come over and paint on top of that. And then I squished it up from the back and mm -hmm. then added the fire polish beads that I worked with today. I added some of those in the center. And then I added some little seed beads around. I noticed it has one seed bead in its head that looks like an eyeball. <laughs> I know. There's actually two, but the other one got kind of buried. I almost oh, had so like two cute. eyeballs, which wasn't actually intentional at the time. And then it I noticed happened. it. And then, but as you work with it, that's just something to note. Like as you're squishing it in, sometimes some of the beads get like squished down below. Um, I just let it be. And then I also painted on some of those seed beads to give it a little bit of an orange because the seed beads were blue um, mm -hmm. and to give it like a little bit of an orange kind of look like tentacles on there. So are those fire polish in the center from the rainbow strand? They are, yeah. So those are the same beads she was just using to wrap on top of her ear wires. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think I had grabbed some of like the, the pink and orangey colors and put them in the center. And then I used what was left over to wrap these earrings today. So cute. It looks great. I'm, like, I'm wearing the butterfly. I love the butterfly, but you probably can't see it because it's a little bit long. I'm going to take it off. Okay. And we'll do one more show and tell. Those before. look like they could go together, the, the pendant and the earrings. You know, that happens. Does that happen to you guys where you kind of start? And you're going to see this pendant, too, is in the same color palette. Like, I, den I do tend to do that where I'm, like, in, in love with certain colors of the moment. And then everything kind of becomes in the same color palette. Oh, my gosh. That's so pretty. Let me come a little closer. Isn't that, that pendant fun? is for sale in our live sale right now. Um, there were there was a limited amount of them, um, but yeah. it's only ten dollars, I think, mm -hmm. or was it eight dollars? I think it's only eight dollars. Oh, if it's eight dollars, it might be ten because if it's eight dollars, that's a real good price. Because I, I think, think it was ten dollars, and Rosa discounted it to eight dollars. Oh, you guys, you better pick that one up because that's a really yeah. good price for that really pretty. Um, Cynthia, both of these are in the live sale. Cynthia posted a picture of a design she made with that as well. And we put it in our email. So look for our latest emails um, to see what Cynthia made with that pendant. Yeah, the pendant is a the other one. The octopus is a wood pendant from our friends at Allegory Gallery. Um, and we have quite a few of those in the live sale too, in lots of different shapes. There's like a butterfly and a bear. And I will say out of all the shapes, this octopus might've been the toughest one to get the epoxy mm -hmm. sculpt in because it has a lot of little tiny pieces, but I just got it in my head to try it. Um, and some of the other ones have a little bit larger centers, which would be even easier to do the epoxy mm -hmm. sculpt on. Mm-hmm. That's true. It looks so good with the octopus, though. It does. It's like it does. it's such a good fit for it. Yeah, it does. it's really, really lovely. Okay, I'm going to go to share um, the giveaway. Okay, so let me present my screen. 
let's give away time. We're going to give away a kit of your choice if you've entered. And you enter by commenting hashtag TGBE. You can only enter once um, to enter. Let's see how many entries we have so far. Third, only 33. What is going on, you guys? There's 75 of you here. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, you got to comment <laughs> hashtag TGBE, please. We got to get that number up. Come on. For sure. <laughs> So uh, last thoughts before we leave today, 20% off on Craftwire on the website. Take advantage of that. Any gauge, any color. Um, we have a live sale, which has a lot of very unique, special things, like we were saying, from Green Girl Studios, Allegory Gallery. But then also um, from our own bead collection, we have new short strands. We have brand new things that came in from Tucson, um, some lovely things from Russia, from um, Afghanistan. I have um, to say, I was looking, when we when I was watching it, I was like, why didn't I take some more of these pendants for myself when I was in Tucson? They're so pretty. <laughs> we're so, focused on those big rings. We were we just were. in love with the rings. We yeah. were. I think um, I'll probably send Rosa a message and say, what's left? <laughs> yeah, those triangles. I think are just right up your alley. I have one of those. I did get one of those. So I'm excited mm -hmm. about that. But some of yeah. those really big ones, I was like, like the oh, leaf shaped ones. What was I thinking? I need some of those. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I know. There's some really good stuff. I hope you guys will check it out. It ends Thursday night, which is tonight. Uh, this is March 23rd. If you watch this later this weekend, the craft wire sale goes through Tuesday. So you've got a lot of time on that, but the live sale is closing tonight at midnight. So it's two parts. You can find it featured at the top of the soft flex company, Facebook page. And then we'll be back in about four weeks with our next live sale. Um, what else is happening? We're spotlighted in the TGBE group today. So if you're not in a great beat extravaganza Facebook group and you're watching us from one of our other, uh, streaming pages, make sure you join that group. We have our big spring fling coming up. It's a lot of fun. We do a huge giveaway where 12 companies participate in giving uh, three people a huge package of beading supplies. Um, it's 12 hours of beading fun, um, not even including preview night on, on the Friday night before it gets going. And we'll have a really special guest that's going to show us something new and very cool uh, who's never been a part of the Great Beat Extravaganza before. So um, that will be happening as well. Um, and we just hope that you'll you'll join the group and um, and definitely go through. I think we have a giveaway happening in the group too. So look for mm -hmm. that and make sure you comment there and just take a look at all the different posts that Kristen has put together um, for the Great Beat Extravaganza today about Softflex Company. All right, we're up to 56. Anybody yes. else want to enter? This is your last chance. Hashtag TGBE in the comments, and we will be drawing from uh, those comments in just one minute here. Terry, uh, Sandra is asking, when will the TGBE schedule be out? Very soon. Yeah. yeah. Really soon. Yeah. Maybe even like next week if we can mm -hmm. get to it. Okay, I'm gonna click draw now. So you either click send, <laughs> get your last minute entry in. Here we go from 57 entries. We are drawing a winner and you can email us at info at softflexcompany.com. We will, oh, what? <laughs> We're all winners here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's funny that it doesn't weird. but it doesn't like kick out like knowing that you would Thankfully you know. I can draw again. Yeah. Thomas, you did not win. We're drawing again. Yay. Yay us. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen one of these days. Terry. Oh, Terry. Okay, Terry, check in. Are you here? You are watching on Facebook. 
And uh, we are looking for you so that we can make sure you're here for uh, to be able to win. I have someone <laughs> pounding on my door. Becky says, congrats, Thomas. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yay, Terry! <laughs> um, I have a meltdown happening outside my door. So, All right. <laughs> so time to go. <laughs> Terry, send All us a right. message. Congratulations, at Terry. <laughs> we are so excited for you. Um, I'm going to let you finish this out. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. They're like, let me in. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Terry. So go ahead and um, send us a message over at info at softlexcompany.com and we will send you our new Spring Blossoms kit, which is for the Great Beat Extravaganza. Oh, and if you haven't, if you're in the group, the Great Beat Extravaganza, or the page, you should look to see um, the kit link. We, I think Nile put it up yesterday or the day before, and a few of us have started to post the links to our kits, those who have kits available. So Silver Silk has a kit. Um, I saw that Candy Cooper put up her kit. We put up our kit. And just keep your eye on that post because as other companies participating in the Great Bit Extravaganza um, make their kit available, they will go ahead and link it there. You know, a lot of us do all different types of quantities. Some sell out really fast. So you just want to take a look and make sure you grab the kit from those that you want to grab. And then some of us don't do kits at all. So not everyone will have a kit. So just note that too. If you're if you're not seeing a kit from somebody, you can always reach out and ask them. But there's a lot of um, presenters that don't do a kit and just do a new product launch or specials or things like a pop-up shop or things like that. So... <laughs> So that went up this week. Take a look. Make sure to grab your kits for the spring fling. We look forward to seeing you all again in April. Um, what is today? Today's Thursday. So I'll be back on Monday for a new episode of Free Spirit Beating at 1 p.m. Pacific time. You'll find me on the Softlex Company Facebook page and YouTube channel. Make sure to check out the live sale that ends today. That's on the Softlex Company Facebook page. And um and then we'll open up the cherry blossom kit on Wednesday of next week. We are going to do another Zoom for those of you that bought the kit. So if you haven't gotten your kit yet for cherry blossom, you can go grab that. Um, go grab that soon. I'll send out the link for the Zoom when we get closer. Thanks, everyone. Congrats, Terry. And we will see you all uh, next time. Happy beating. Joyful beating. Check out the Joyful Beating uh, calendar over in the Softlex VIB studio as well. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, yeah. Bye.